Curious Chicks here. Now, have you ever just had that moment or those feelings? It, it could be a lingering feeling. You're just feeling a little unhappy, a little unfulfilled, a little unsatisfied with your life. You ever have that feeling? Yeah. Okay. And the thing is, is that you actually have a pretty good life. You got a place to live, you got great family, you got great friends, you, know, you have the latest technology like the latest iPhone or the latest gadget. Uh, but for some reason, there's just still something there that just makes you feel unfulfilled, unhappy. And I was just wondering, what could that problem be? That's a very good question. So we were on Netflix and we saw this really cool documentary called Minimalism. And it's a very interesting concept that we want to talk to you about today. It's created by uh, Joshua and Ryan and they have this really interesting view on how to make your life simpler and happier. And that includes removing excess things, unnecessary things that don't add any purpose or value to your life so that it can allow you to find things that bring you purpose and meaning and ultimately help you live a happier life. And what's good about it is that it's not a one way to do it. It's a recipe for things and you can take parts of the recipe and add your own ingredients to make it something that works for you, something that um, works with your lifestyle. It's not, there's no right or wrong way. So now we're just going to introduce to you 10 different ways in which you can apply minimalism into your lifestyle. Finances. Things like four different credit cards that you don't really need, get rid of them and only have one. Simplify. If you can afford to minimize and go to a smaller house, uh, maybe it'll save you some money with your mortgage, magazine subscriptions, met for magazines that you barely even have time to read, TV, internet, cable. Try cutting one of these things out and see how much more extra money you may have that you can spend on other things like experiences that may fulfill your life in a whole other way. Clothes, shoes, and accessories. I am definitely privy to having lots of clothes, shoes, and accessories. And it's just so easy to accumulate. There's a project called 333. And basically, it's using 33 different items consisting of clothes, shoes, and accessories for three months, only utilizing those items. Furniture. Yes, furniture is very nice, and we all want the Martha Stewart home, but do you really need all that furniture? Do you really need all those pillows that just sit there and collect dust? I mean, just simplify a little bit. It'll make it, your house so much easier to clean. Think about that. In decluttering your house of furniture and decor and accessories, you can declutter your mind. And in doing so, you can reduce your anxiety and feel more at peace. Electronics. Men and women are all at fault for this. We have so many electronics, and there's always a new electronic that's coming out, whether it's a new computer, a new laptop, a new phone. Do we have to have that new one? We should take some time and think about if that's actually necessary. We can minimize the number of electronic gadgets that we accumulate, and maybe just opt to buy less of them so frequently. Obligations and commitments. If we really cut down on the things that we commit ourselves to, it's okay to say that you can't make it to someone's party if you really can. It's just buying yourself and affording yourself more time to do things that may be more meaningful to you and make you happier and whole. Beauty and grooming products. All you ladies out there, I know you guys have a lot of different lipsticks, different eyeshadows, all kinds of different products that are related to beauty. So we can probably minimalize some of those beauty products to just to a few that are most essential and most important to your beauty regimen. And for all you guys out there, you guys can minimize some of your gel products, your pomades, your hairsprays. And for both men and women, maybe we can minimize some of all the shampoos and conditioners and all of those products that all these bottles are taking up so much space in our cabinets. Social media. Think about how long we actually spend on social media these days, whether it's Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. I mean, can we just go back to having normal human interaction relationships? I feel like we're just losing ourselves to the virtual realm and we're trying to validate ourselves through how many likes and comments we get on all of our posts. I mean, that's just no way to live. Talk to people in person. Food. So how can we minimalize our food? Food is one of those things that you can break down into its simplest form, meaning the least amount of ingredients. Now, you might think food also as being more organic in nature. When you minimize the amount of ingredients in your food and you keep it very simple, you actually tend to lead a much healthier lifestyle when you have much more energy 
and you're just much healthier in general. Relationships. We all have those kinds of people in our lives that bring us down, are not contributing to a positive life, that brings a lot of negative energy to your life. So if we eliminate those relationships, we can cut down on the number of anxiety, stress levels, annoyances in our lives, and make us happier. Kids toys. Now if you're a parent and you have a child, I know you want to get your kid the most popular toy that's available on the market. And every season it changes, every year it changes, and every year you want to get them something new. Do I? Because they want it. But you, when you think about it, do they really need that toy when they just are going to outgrow it? Why don't you just let them enjoy themselves by taking them outside, enjoying a playground, getting some fresh air and some exercise? So those are just 10 ways that you can think about how you can bring in a minimalist lifestyle into your life. And we're in no way preaching here and you don't have to do all 10 to become a minimalist. So maybe there's one of them out of the 10 that you identify more with than the others. And maybe you want to try and minimize that aspect of your life. 